It's been a fun season for the Armstrong girls lacrosse team and a very successful one. Here's Haman wow. scoring. I feel like we build each game and each practice really as a team and we're just so close. The Falcons entered their last regular season game with a 10 and two mark. I'm so proud of our team. We're, we've all been with each other for such a long time. So it's really great to play with all of them. They're all my best friends. So I just love it. I'm really happy with the way we've grown as a, as a team and um, learned together and learn the way that each other works. We can really get through anything. Like whenever we lose, it's we don't blame each other. We just keep going. Balance has been a key for the Falcons. It's super important because then we can't get shut down. Four players had top 20 goals coming into the regular season finale, led by Sydney Smith with 32 and Aaron Poloni with 29. It's nice to share the load. Oh, it's huge because there's so many times people will, like teams will just double team a certain player. And for a lot of teams, that will make you fall apart. But for us, we can just keep going, and everybody contributes. We have Jenna that is scoring as many goals as she's getting assists, which was, is key to our success, um, really having those assists. And then uh, Sydney Smith stepping in um, with the draws and controlling the transitions. And then Aaron finishing and stepping up um, on the other end and being a sophomore and filling in the leadership roles that she's been doing. They've all been stepping in really well and it's great to see and then you put everybody else around us and you know it's exciting to watch and see what these girls have to come for the rest of our season. It hasn't been all smooth sailing of course. We picked ourselves back up pretty quick but it was a bit of a struggle. After a 9-0 start that included wins over Maple Grove and Wyzetta, the Falcons lost back-to-back -back games to Northwest Suburban champ Andover and then Elk River Zimmerman. Turns out it wasn't the end of the world. I think we responded okay with it. We took it as a loss and we learned from our mistakes and I think we're ready to come back now. The Falcons boys lacrosse team is also having a big spring, but the success for girls lacrosse at Armstrong still stands out. We love it because the lacrosse boys, they're like, oh, the girls are kind of good. And it's really fun. <laughs> Not a lot of teams at the school have competed at quite this level this school year. And the girls are proud of it. Oh, and a nice catch and tucked away. 100%. And a lot of us were on other teams that don't always do as good. And when we're on a team like this that just loves each other and we just, it's fun to win and it's fun to bring the pride to Armstrong, really. As the Falcons get set for the tough Section 5 tournament in the week ahead, there is balance in scoring for this team, but also in age. It's really great to know that the seniors we're losing, there's people coming in to help. A good senior group is backed up by strong junior and sophomore classes, so the success for Armstrong is not likely to be a one-year thing. We're going to be around for a while, really. For the CCX Sports Spotlight, I'm Jay Wilcox. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.